Welcome to the premiere webisode of Cypress Tech Spotlight. Every week, we take a look and dive deep into how Cypress technology is being used in the modern age. This webisode is the first in a four-part series that follows aerobatics expert Carl Leopold and his amazing PSOC airplane through many twists and turns. Hi, my name's Carl. I work for Cypress Semiconductor. I work in the CTO group and I specialize in analog functions for chips like PSOC. I'm also a pilot, so I fly the PSOC airplane in air shows, and this is my baby girl, Natasha. She's a Russian Yak-55M for modified. My wife at the time, she ended up buying me a, a lesson in a Pitts, a Pitts biplane, which is a little aerobatic plane, and I had no idea what it was. So I went up in that, you know, after about 30 minutes, I was almost turning green, you know, we're doing rolls and loops and spins. I was almost ready to puke. And I got out of the plane and was like, oh my God, that's the best thing I've ever done in my life. That's all I wanted for my birthdays, Christmases, and everything for the rest of my life. I've been flying air shows for about four years, about 15 years before that of contests, and then flying for about 10 years before that. Whee! You know, the Pitts is a wonderful airplane, okay? A lot of people love them, but it's a, it's a plane that's built with wood, sticks, and glue and fabric coating, right? And I broke them. This plane is built like, it's really over-designed. 360 horsepower, nine-cylinder radial, supercharged, okay? And then I've boosted that up a little bit and put on a big, um, an even bigger propeller. You know, at first I didn't think it was absolutely gorgeous, but as time went by, I've come to love it because it doesn't break. It's about slow, and loud, and it performs really well. It drives like a tractor, you know, through the sky. This is the old instrument panel, and so you can see here where the radio went, where the altimeter went, and all these other things. My old panel had no attitude indicator. Everything was external. It didn't have a, a nice altimeter, it didn't have a good airspeed indicator, it just had very rudimentary things built into it. It was really built for nothing but aerobatics. I ripped all that stuff out and put in this new glass panel, and that was the Dynon. On the next Cypress Tech Spotlight, Carl and Cypress engineer Archana Yarlagata flip open the lid of the Dynon Flight Deck D180 that gives Carl less weight and more control of Natasha. Airplanes are generally very unforgiving. They let you make one mistake, and it's your last. 